Are you sure you're gonna be okay up here all by your lonesome? I mean, I could call Mo and tell him I'm staying. Of course, he'll think we're running off to Atlantic City, not holding up here at Vicky's cabin in the end of the world. I'll be okay. I just uh, need to be by myself for a couple of days to think things through. That's why I moved out, right? So I can figure out what I want. Don't you mean who you want? Rex or Skylar? Fine, Sky. Don't pick up. Hope that means you're up at the cabin romancing my sister. You don't jump at the chance to steal Gigi away from Rex. You're a fool. Roxy! just got out of the hospital. He needs a place to stay and a friend to look after him for a while. Doesn't he have a mother? Oh, yeah, but she's not nearly as warm as you are. Oh, yeah, I know. I'm so hot and I got such a big heart. And I guess you had a lousy break running into those meatheads. Teach you to park in a dark alley. Thanks. I'll keep that in mind. Listen, uh, what do you think the fish is going to say if he knew that you were shacking up with your ex? So, where should I uh, put Nick's stuff? Sky, call me back, okay? It better be with good news. Who's good? Who delivers? You so did not bust up Clint Buchanan's marriage. And he thanked me for it. You're a rock star. Honey, I'm a CEO. Ah, I'll get with details. Well, let's just say I did some undercover work. Oh, please tell me his wife walked in on you, too. Uh-huh. How'd you get her Nigel? Ugh, oh, that man's a rash. Ah, so you really think he's on to you? Well, it doesn't matter, because once Mrs. B walked in on me and the hubby in the sack, kaboom. Clint, what the hell are you doing? I heard Bo's voice. And I thought to myself, what would Pa do if he found a thief stealing his filly? You want me to remove Bo from office? or you'll harm my girls. Well, the commissioner understands a new broom sweeps clean. You're the new mayor, so off he goes. I can't fire Bo. Everybody loves him. Clint, put the gun down. Asa wouldn't let the thief get away, would he? No. He'd blow the bastard's head off. if anybody had a reason that we shouldn't be married? You said nothing. Because there was nothing to say. Because I loved you. Oh, and I hadn't even talked. We hadn't, we had no idea how we felt. But by all means, marry me. It's insurance. A girl always needs a fallback. No, that's not how it was. Don't you tell me how it was. You have no idea what it was like when you were off with my wife. I was alone here in this house. 
but I wanted you to go because I trusted both of you and I thought that that's what both of you needed. But now, I have just buried my son-in-law. Natalie is grieving. Jessica is trying to cope with having Mitch Lawrence back in her life. And now when I need my wife and my brother to return the favor and support me, I find out that the two of you are sleeping together. We've never slept together, Clint. Even though it never came to that, we let you down. Both of us let you down. I'm, and I'm sorry. Okay? I really am. But this is all my fault. I never should have let Nora go. And I wasted a lot of time. And now I've hurt both of you, but that doesn't change anything. There is no going back, and if you shoot us, all you're gonna do is you're gonna hurt Natalie and Jessica and the rest of the family. Unlike you, I think about the rest of the family before I give in to my feelings. Don't worry. You're gonna get what's coming to you. So you and the mogul did the dirty. Well, not yet. Wait, I thought you just said that you guys... Yeah, we made it look like we were having sex. Oh, smart. Give him a little taste. So I'll come back for more. And before you know it... You'll be picking out sports cars. Well, yachts. Oh, excuse me. <laughs> <laughs> so I have some good news of my own. Yeah? Gigi moved out. <gasps> she broke up with Rex. Well, I don't know. It seemed like a little more of a separation, but it doesn't matter. Whatever it is, as long as she's out, he's fair game. Girl, I am so ahead of you. If things go my way, that separation is permanent. <laughs> so I guess Gigi told you she moved out. She didn't mention it, no. But you knew. <laughs> it's a small town. Word gets around. I'll bet. Look. I'm sorry. That... No, you're not. Okay, you know what? Fine. I'm not sorry, all right? G Gigi was unhappy, and if this is what it takes for her to get her head straight, then you, fine. You mean if it's going to help you worm your way into her life? Rex, I'm her friend. Her friend? Her friend would have been supportive. You have Gigi so confused she had to move out. Well, yeah, well, you ever think about the fact that maybe maybe you're the one confusing her? You and Stacy? You know what? It doesn't matter what you think. Gigi is coming home and we are going to pick up right where we left off and Gigi and I and Shane are going to build a future together and you can count on it. If you were that sure of her, we wouldn't be having this conversation. If Gigi walked out on you, Rex, she probably had a good reason. She didn't walk out on me. She's taking some time for herself. Ah, uh, right. It was my idea. She's been through a lot. Yeah, she has. And I wanted her to have a chance to focus on herself. That's what people in committed relationships do, not that you would know anything about that. Oh, oh, really? Oh, so if a guy gets his girlfriend's sister pregnant, then he should tell her to take a hike. Let me see, let me write that down. Got it. Stay away from her. Oh, so now we're back to square one, where you tell me to leave town. Is that it? You should have listened to me. You know, Rex, I might have. But Gigi didn't want me to go. I know I can't have them both, but that doesn't stop me from going off in two directions. Okay, let's break it down. Let's talk about the pros and the cons. First up, Rex. Okay. I've loved him since I was a kid. We have a child together. He left his marriage for me. Cons? He left me in high school, just disappeared without even a goodbye. He has now slept with my sister and they are having a baby together. All right, first off, the high school thing, he was a kid. You yeah. both were. And I had to grow up fast. Point taken, but I think if he'd known about it, he'd have been there for you. True. And the thing with Stacy, I mean, that happened because Stacy was working Rex and because Rex thought there was no chance for you and him. I know. But it is still very hard to live with. And the baby's coming. All right, Scholar. Come on, you said you wanted to work through this? Let's get it all out on the table. Okay, Skylar. Um, we were friends first, so I trust him. I know that he'd never leave me. You sound like you're talking about a real good hunting dog. 
<laughs> okay. I think he's hot. But? All right, but there's also this whole other side to him. He's an addict. He had this skeevy life in Vegas with my sister. See, I told you it's complicated. Well, yes and no. What do you mean? Honey, if you ask me, I think deep down you know who you want. Here, let me do the work. Yeah. Lean on to me. Okay. It's the ribs. That's oh. a long time to hear. Yeah. Hey, Kyle, baby. Can I talk to you? Yeah. Alone? Hotel business. So, uh, can, I, can I get you anything? Like water? Uh, I'm sure you got a, a truckload of meds. I'm supposed to take these with milk. Uh, I do not know if Kyle has any milk. Probably not, knowing Kyle. Uh, and if he does, it's probably spoiled because he never checks the dates. But I'm sure you knew that. What are you doing moving your ex into your bed? Okay, yeah, he's not in my bed. Just... Honey, this is my hotel. I know exactly how many beds are in that room. One! Oliver's okay with it. Okay, he, he understands Nick is injured. Yeah, and he just... he's okay because he's a real good guy. Unlike Nick the homewrecker Chavez. <laughs> I, I appreciate, I, I so appreciate your concern, Roxy. I really do, but... Nick knows I'm with Oliver now. Yeah, he knows that, honey. But he does not like it. The guy wanted to marry you, remember? Uh, really? It's, it's Listen, okay. I could get a free room if I could, but there's no free room, so uh, can't you just find someplace else for him? Nick just needs a friend right now, okay? Somebody to look after him. It's just for a few days. Flo Nightingale, you heal him, and you get him out of here, or you're going to lose the love of your life. And everything we need in here? Uh, it's fresh. I'm shocked. Yeah, Oliver knows where to shop. Uh, Kyle, look, I didn't get you any trouble with your landlady, did I? Because if she wants to charge me, it's okay. So, I have a question. Uh, there's only one bed. Where are you going to sleep? Gigi and I were fine till you showed up. Yeah, you were sleeping with her sister. Slept once. Yeah, without using protection. Th that's genius. Don't don't blame me for your problems, okay? If Gigi walked out on you, then that's Gigi's... Gigi walked out on you? What the hell happened? Gigi and I are taking a little break. Hey, hey you get know. out. What? What? You heard me. I've had it with home records. Get the hell out of here. It's okay, Rox. No, no, it's not okay at all. He's been causing trouble between the two of you since jump. So you take your pot, mister, and you stir it somewhere else. Okay, I'll, I'll get my thing. Oh, no, no. Send them to you. You know, all I ever wanted was for Gigi to be happy. She's not. Gigi left you for that? No! She's just taking some time for herself. But thank you for having my back. Oh, baby, it's the least I could do for you. After everything I've done to you. Even if I wanted to fire a bow, I would need grounds. And he's done nothing wrong. We're all sinners, Dorian. I dare say Bo has committed his share of peccadilloes. I would need somebody qualified to take his place. Look no further. You'll get what's coming to you without me pulling the trigger. Nora will see to that. She'll cheat on you just like she cheated on... Well, wait a minute. What am I saying? She already cheated on you. We all remember Sam Rappaport. No, don't, don't, don't do this. Okay. Don't... I don't get it out. Thank you, Nora. Always looking out for me. Paul warned us. History repeats itself, boys, unless you pay attention. You remember him saying that, Bo? Well, guess what? I didn't pay attention. 
and she cheated on me just like she cheated on you. But you see, you don't see that because you view all this as some kind of happy ending and all the stuff that happened in between. It doesn't count and that you should have just stayed married. That's sweet. But as Asa would say, I'm sorry for you because you have got yourself a pig in a poke. And yeah, she's got a law degree and a nice career, but scratch the surface and all you'll find is a lying, cheating whore. No, that's enough, Clint. Afraid not. Little brother, I'm afraid not. Well, this has been a productive day. We should celebrate. If I were to make a prediction, in the next six months, we'll have everything our way. Don't, don't touch that. Do not drink. Hey, thought we'd share. No, but, but don't open it. It's blood. Ew. Well, I had to have some place to store the sample I got from Rex's father. So you put it in my favorite soda? It's, it's not a real can. It's a place you put your valuables and stuff, you know? Look, I still don't understand why you need Rex's father's blood. I told you, remember the paternity test? You know Rex isn't going to give up on that, and whenever they do the test... You'll use the blood you swipe from Rex's exactly. daddy. And they match up Rex's blood with that blood, they'll say, Hey, these people are related. I just got to figure out how to make that switch. Oh, that's the easy part. You've already had practice at that clinic. Oh my gosh, that's the story you still haven't finished to tell me. Yes, if I tell you, you have to keep it a secret. I'm serious, Kimmy. You can't even tell a soul. Oh, tell. I swear. Good, because I really needed somebody to talk to about this. What is this? It's research. When I was um, doing a switch at the Boutte Clinic, I discovered something. You want me to fire Bo and make you police commissioner? Of course not. I'm a man of the cloth with a mission of my own. But I did know someone who would be perfect for the job. Who? Oh, I'll let you know. When the position is open. I'm not going to fire Bo, so you might as well tell me who you have in mind. Fine. It's your loss. Dorian, you will be the one who loses if you refuse to cooperate. I'll, I'll throw a sleeping bag on the floor. No, you're not going to sleep on the floor. You're a med student who barely gets enough sleep as it is. Kyle, I'll find some place else it's, to it's stay. Okay. It's okay. It's okay. You need a place to stay while you heal up, okay? It, it's not going to be for long. <laughs> yeah, I hope not. I, I mean, it's bad enough that those creeps beat you up. You don't want them to think that they sideline you. Uh, uh, exactly. Right. Listen, Kyle, I, I really appreciate you letting me stay here. But you're not going to wait on me. I, I need to get up and start moving around. No worry. I still know where everything is. There's a lot to take in. Okay, finding out that Lawrence is my father. And him killing Jared and the stabbing. Wanting him to die. It's a lot. I know, honey. But you're going to get through it. You always do. But listen to me. You steer clear of him. The truth is, I've been spending a lot of time thinking about Lawrence and what it all means and not enough time with Gigi. Hey, baby, that's no excuse. I mean, I can't believe that she left you for that washed-up druggy. She didn't leave. I asked her to go. You threw her out? The mother of my grandson? No, of course not. She's just, she's been so conflicted, I thought that she needed to take some time to herself. I thought that it would be good for me, too. We both just need time to think. Think? How many times have I told you thinking is completely overrated? Listen, baby, what you got to do is you both got to get horizontal. And I know I'm your mother, and it's a little weird me saying that, but that's the truth. And you got to know what you're fighting for. And you got to put this thing back together again. And you've done it before, twice, and you'll do it again. <gasps> you will. I'm not so sure. I hope I can find the answer while I'm up here. Because the truth is, I just don't know. Well, you just eat one of my lost lamb looking for her shepherd pies that I made for you. Maybe that'll help. It'll be all right, sweetie. Mm, I don't know what I would do without you and Vicky. Well, you don't have to worry about that, because we're not going anywhere. You are stuck with us. Good, because I have another favor. Oh, Mo and I will look in on Shane. I know. No junk food. 
I'm checking on Rex. He's got a lot going on right now. This whole Mitch Lawrence thing is really killing him. I will pop in once a day, make sure they've eaten and washed behind their ears. But you have to take care of you. I'll try. Okay. Mm. You'll figure it out, sweetie. I just know you will. You gonna be okay in there? God, I hope so. <laughs> Oh, God. It only hurts when I laugh. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's the ribs. Yeah. You yeah. still have that um, organic soap I like? Yeah, just don't use it all up this time. <clears throat> so, how are you doing? I didn't know you had organic soap. And that's crucial information now? No, it's information that he has and I don't. And that you let your milk spoil, and that he knows where everything is. <laughs> Ollie. You getting jealous okay, now? Don't, don't whisper. He's gonna hear and know that we're talking about him. Okay. So let's, let's, let's talk about Layla. I mean, you, you live with her, right? So she probably knows a ton of stuff about you that I don't know. That is it's completely different, and you know it. Why? Why? She's your ex, and is mine. We're friends, Oliver. Friends, just like you and Layla. I know. I know. I guess I'm just disappointed we didn't get to be together. Because now, who knows when that's gonna happen. Yeah. I get it. Me too. I'm disappointed too. But we'll find time. Okay? I was just <laughs> leaving. So I ran into Rex. Uh, he said you moved out. I just wanted to see if you're okay. I'm okay. How do you look? Uh, not great. Did he tell you why I left? Yeah, he said that you were taking some time for yourself, but that, that you guys were getting back together and it's all good. Is that true? Not really. It's what he wants to believe. What do you want? The truth is, Rex asked me to leave so I could figure out how I felt about you. Does Rex know about this? I don't think so. I mean, as far as I know, only the people involved know. Well, you and me. So what are you going to do with this? I'm going to try and figure out a way to use it as leverage in case I need Rex's daddy on my side. <laughs> Girl, you are an evil genius. Oh, okay, look who's talking. Look what you just pulled off. <laughs> Found out Clint's wife was having an affair with his brother. I mean, you used it to get into his bed. <laughs> well, information is power. What do you think Clint's gonna do? Only thing he can do, kick her ass out. Girl, he's gonna be lonely. Not for long. <laughs> you wanna call me names, Clint? Go right ahead, you wanna call me a whore. That's fine. I don't care. You're angry and I don't blame you. I would be too. Then Bo's right. And I never should have split up. It took this long and this happening to Matthew for us to realize it and to forgive each other. But the important thing for you to remember is that we love you. We've always loved you and we will always love you. And we never wanted to hurt you. And we never cheating on you. If you've got nothing new to say, I'm not interested. Fair enough. Let's go. If you don't mind, I'd like a minute with my brother. Nora, congratulations. You not only destroyed a marriage, you destroyed a family.
I don't know what else there is to say. You couldn't face me man to man. You had to run around behind my back. You want to fight me, Clint? Go ahead. Do you want to shoot me? Do it, but don't pretend that you weren't as big a part of this as any of the rest of us. Now you're blaming me? Hey, this is a lousy situation, all right? But we all made mistakes. Number one was me. Letting Nora go, and then being too stubborn to forgive her. But you did not have to go after her. You said you were all right with it. I told you right out front that the whole thing felt weird to me. You didn't want to hear that. You were divorced. It was none of your business. I brought it up out of respect. Something you obviously know nothing about. Uh, really? What if I'd have gone after Vicky? Huh? That's different. Why? Because she was yours? Heaven help poor Charlie. Charlie is not my brother. Yeah, and you are not Pa. I'm not trying to be Pa. What are you, you're quoting him all the time. Listen to yourself. Look where you are right now. You've taken over the company, you have his house, it's Pa this, Pa that, what would Pa do? You know, Pa went after women that I love too. That's a lie. Delilah? Becky Lee? Y you think I married Nora because of you? She's a terrific woman. I think that you went after her because it was something that Pa would do. Clint, he set the trap for you when he left her this house. You took the bait. Get the hell out of here, Bo. Bo! You're dead to me. I no longer have a brother. give to be a fly on the wall at that mansion. Yeah, too bad Nigel's such a stick in the mud. He'd be a great source. Yeah, not a chance. He's loyal. You know, it's a good thing you had that job. You have an excuse to go over there. Yeah, but I gotta bide my time make him come to me. Yeah, that's exactly what I'm doing with Rex. I told him how sorry I was to hear about Gigi leaving. He was so broken up, he probably didn't even notice. So where's Sky? He'd be smart. He's on his way to go see Gigi. Oh, I'm so glad Sky's come around. I hated that new and improved version. <sighs> Me too. But, you know, I think he'll come through. Yeah, if he likes her as much as he says he does. And then Rex will come running back to me. <laughs> With little Lug Jr. here, he'll be a little bigger, so I don't have to wear this pad. Rex can actually feel the baby kick. And you can use that can of blood to prove that it's a balsam and not a fish. Well, technically, Rex is a Lawrence. Oh. You know, I think it's time you meet your grandpa. You want me to abuse the powers of my office? Well, I won't do it. Oh, what's the matter, Dorian? Scruples? I've worked hard to get this job, and I'm not going to give it all away to someone like you. I'm willing to share power. Big of you. You'll be my right hand. Oh, yes, I can just <laughs> see it, of course. One of your minions as police commissioner running things. And, of course, I'm having to explain to the press why the crime rate has gone sky high, why the budget deficit is even higher than that, and why you have moved into town hall. Oh, you can keep town hall. I'll, I'll just find myself a little place down by the lake. The only place you're going is prison. Not if you care about your family as much as I care about mine. Uh, you okay? Uh, yeah, yeah. I'm just a little dizzy. Okay. Yeah. Oh, come on, sit down. Uh, I guess I'm a little weaker than I thought. Yeah, that's okay. You recuperate. Yeah. Uh, I'm, I should go. I gotta be on duty in like 20 minutes. Please, I uh, don't want you to be late. I'll, I'll, I'll walk you out. You'll call me later? Well, I don't want to wake Nick. Okay, well then I guess I'll just put my phone on vibrate and you can text me. You are driving me crazy and that is the point. I just, please just get him better, okay? Fast. Hey, Kyle, it's...
Trust me, don't say anything. I don't want to hurt that kid's feelings or nothing like that. But I think I solved our little problem. I kicked Skylar out of here, which means I got an extra room. So you move Nick in there and you can check on him, you know, every hour if you want to. So now you got your bed back and Ollie doesn't have to walk around like he lost his best friend. Um, I gotta go. No, wait, uh... How's my grandson doing? He's fine. Maybe I should call Gigi, make sure she got to the... No, 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 no. No, just leave her alone. No. Just let her get used to that. You're right. I gotta let her do this on her own. I have feelings for you. Yeah, but you never really told me what that means. I don't want to string you along, Sky. I came here to think, you know? Not have anybody pressuring you. I'm not... I don't mean to pressure you. I know. Okay, I'm gonna go. Um, but, you know, call me if you, if you, if, like, you need anything. Wait. Don't go. So, Rex and I spent a lot of time talking about our relationship and where it's going, and I'm here because I... I couldn't really tell him what he wanted to hear. Yeah, been a lot of changes the last couple of months. So anyway, um, maybe you and I should talk. Because <laughs> we haven't really had the chance to do that. You know, we were always avoiding this topic. Yes, we were. So you want to talk? Yeah, sure. I'm gonna be late. So go. No, stop. I gotta get to work and you gotta get taken care of Nick. Yeah. I'm sorry about that. You know what? It's okay. I'm just I'm being selfish. He took a hit for all of us. So go. Go. I'll, I'll see you later. Hey. I love you. I love you too. Did I hear my phone ring? Uh, yeah, yeah. It was your landlady. What do you want? Uh, nothing. Uh, she, uh, she just wanted to know if we needed fresh linens. I said we were fine. Okay. Thank God. I was so worried. I was just about to call John. What happened? Oh, nothing. It's nothing. It's just a... He didn't shoot you. I'm sorry. For what? For being an idiot. I should have forgiven you a long time ago. I was just too damn stuck. Okay, 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 you know what? We all made a lot of mistakes. Let's just be grateful we found each other again. We should go. Is he all right? When he said that I destroyed the family. No. This family's been through a lot worse. What is he? Let's, let's get out of here. It wasn't loaded, Paul. the way I left. What happened after I did? My wife moved out. I'm sorry. That must be difficult. Are you okay? I've had better evenings. You think you should be alone? Uh, Nigel's here. Somewhere. Yeah, I'm sure that's a comfort. Yeah, this is my father's house. All I can think of is what Bo and Nord did and where. The place is poison. You should get out of there. There's no place I want to go. You can come over to my place. So, do we have an agreement? You make Bo disappear. Sorry. 
This is very short-sighted of you, Dorian. Yes, and what are you going to do about it? I'm going to pray for you and your family. I am so glad you're still here, Officer Johns. As the new mayor, I'm really concerned about Mitch Lawrence, and I want you to keep your eyes on him like a hawk. Hi, Mr. Lawrence. I'm... I know who you are. I've been expecting you. So, are you gonna hang with me and watch the fights? Uh, no, I can't. I gotta go. I just, I came by to tell you that Christmas is kind of up in the air. You know, with Gigi kind of basically undecided. Well, she'll be home by Christmas. Guaranteed. <laughs> what? Uh, maybe talking wasn't such a good idea. No, we, we have to see what's there. I mean, if you're deciding your future, and if I'm a factor in it, then I think we both need to figure this out. I don't know what you could say to make it any clearer. Well, maybe this isn't about words.